Hey y'all, welcome to my unscripted video for this week. Uh, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about something new that I have added into my life that is something that I haven't done since I got into eating disorder recovery 14 years. And what that is, is I started to work with a personal trainer. Now my history with personal trainers is before when I was in the throes of my eating disorder, I would go get a personal trainer, I would start following a really rigid diet, and then I would lose a lot of weight and I would be exercising three or four hours a day. And uh, I'm not doing that this time. And so I just wanted to share with you kind of like what my thought process has been with going to a personal trainer this time. And I just came back from my session and I'm, I'm feeling really good and very in my body and very relaxed. And you know, what I want to share with you guys is that I first had to ask myself, what was my intention in getting a personal trainer? And I think these ideas go into everything in life. You know, we have to ask ourselves, what is our intention? And my intention with getting a personal trainer this time was that I just wanted to feel more in my body. And yeah, I want to tone up and I want to look a certain way. And I think those are very natural feelings to have. Um, where before I would go into wanting a personal trainer to feel like I was in control of my food and control how much weight I lost. It's just a completely different energy. And so the question is, how do we go into that vulnerable situation um, when we're in recovery where things used to be very triggering? And I think it's one, important to know what your intentions are, and two, to be very clear about what you want. So when I had my first session with the trainer, I basically just told her my story. I said, I used to weigh 340 pounds. I'm in recovery from binge eating disorder. I don't want to get focused on my weight loss. I don't want to get focused on bulking up. I just really want to get as healthy and fit as I can. And yes, I want to tone up. Um, and I shared with her, I was like, that is something that I can easily get lost in. Um, so I want us to just be very conscious of that. And you know what, if you're paying this person too, you're paying for them to understand and know what your needs and wants are. And I think it's really important um, when we're paying for someone's services that we're clear about what we need. And it turns out that she's also someone who has lost over a hundred pounds. She's not in recovery or anything. Um, but uh, uh, she was really surprised at how clear I was about what I wanted and, um, and how honest I was about it. And she said she found it very refreshing. And I think, um, you know, learning how to advocate for myself in the situations that I want for myself. And so I've been seeing this personal trainer for like three weeks now and I'm getting so much out of it because she's very focused on form. So as I'm working out, she's making me look in the mirror and see the way that I'm moving my arms and making sure I'm keeping my back flat and it can be very uncomfortable because before I would always look in the mirror and pick my body apart. And I still do that. Like I still see, oh, I don't like that on me or I don't like that. But when we're doing the workout, it's not about getting somewhere. It's not about finishing the sets. It's not about getting into this calorie deficit so I can lose this many whatever. As I'm working out, it's about making sure that my form is correct and my posture is correct so that I don't hurt myself. And also having the experience of realizing the, the movement feels different when I'm not in the correct posture versus when I'm using the correct form, how much more I'm getting out of it. And I shared with her how like, I really just want me working out here to be a way for me to practice being in the moment and being in my body. And and this whole idea of form just completely sticks out to me because I look in other areas of my life where I am still very focused on the result or I want a quick fix or I just want to like get there, you know? I just want to, I want to finish it. Or if I'm writing a video, I just want to quickly get the video done. And realizing like life is so much more about quality over quantity. Life is so much more about um, f 
form. It's about how we choose to, how we go about executing what we want. And I think, I think what I'm learning is that, and, and what's so interesting for me is I'm really taking this idea of form and carrying it into other areas of my life. You know, being focused on making sure I'm using good form and posture as I'm doing the workout, I can approach that with as I'm writing a project or if I'm on a date or if I'm talking to my friend or if I'm at work. Being willing to do things with good form. Being willing to do things that are quality over quantity in terms of my execution. I guess you could say it's really as simple as mindfulness. Um, but what I want to encourage for anyone who's in eating disorder recovery or who is scared of being triggered by things, I think the important thing is to one, know what triggers you. Know what can be triggering to you and understand your history. And two, be willing to have a new relationship with something. Be willing to try it differently and be clear about your intentions and voice what those are. And so now I've been going to the gym quite a few days a week and maybe it's not gonna last forever, you know? Like that's not what it's about. It's about right now, this is something I'm enjoying and I'm getting to shift my relationship around it. And this is 14 years into recovery, you know, that I went without getting a trainer and I would go work out, but my form wasn't good and I probably hurt myself quite a lot. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with you because, you know, you can be in eating disorder recovery and or whatever it is in your life that you've struggled with and you are the one that can redefine what your relationship is to that. And it's important to understand the triggers and the warnings and the concerns that you might have and that other people might have. But at the end of the day, as we're getting better, we're going through these changes and the, this recovery so that we can try different things, so that we can test out new ways of doing things. We recover so that we can have a big full life, not so that we can hide behind it. So I hope that helps you guys. I'm not sitting here saying everyone should go to the gym now because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, be willing to try to have a new experience with something that before was difficult for you because it's possible. So y'all, if you are wanting some help with, you know, trying to have a new experience, I have a Patreon page, which is in the description box below. I would love to help support you all just as much as you would be supporting my channel. And in the comments below, I'd love to know your thoughts on today's video. Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you'll know whenever I post a new video. And uh, much love to y'all. Have a wonderful week.